Good evening guys and happy Wednesday. Our latest will be about this video that you're seeing in the background. It's making rounds on social media. Let's follow up on that. This man is apparently from West Africa. He was asked why they treat South African women the way they do. And what he said shocked many people. While other people were left shocked, some said it is true everything that he's saying regarding South African women. They said SA women will do anything for money even if it means that they have to date monkeys for money. They will do that. Please check his entire video in the next slide and let us know of your take regarding what he's saying regarding RSA women. And that will be all from me. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next update. Bye. My first question is, why do you guys give girls money after? So I'm not Nigerian. I'm originally from Congo. But I hope the fact that I'm Congolese does not disqualify the fact that you're actually asking Nigerians. But I'm coming to explain in a point of view of foreign national in South Africa, right? Ideally, why most foreigners give South African girls money or specifically Nigerians after sex is because where we come from in West Africa, any girl that gives sex out so easily automatically know that they're working for sex. It's not unlike South Africa here where sex is just, uh, you know, it's a random thing. But back home, for you to actually get laid, it's very difficult. Either it's your girlfriend and also so even some certain extent your girlfriend will not actually have sex with you unless you marry her so when we come in such an environment where we experience the fact that sex is so easily gotten automatically we put most women in a bracket of of prostitutes because where we come from as i mentioned that only sex workers give out sex so easily you understand and number two just to jump onto the fact that why are we um so much like players as you said it's because again the options are unlimited you understand to get a south african girl's attention it's all about money and for us if you have enough money to play around with the game why not you know be the referee so you call the shots you know you understand the game better in that sense so when you say why are we such players or why are nigerian men such players the reason i say why we because i also put myself in there as an african it's because when you start, when you step a foot in south africa the options are limitless i mean you can even date a girl knowing that you have and I mean she knowing that you have another girlfriend and they have no issue with that as long as you provide for them financially while us back home the chance of that is very rare you know and also like the life is fast in South Africa you understand what I'm saying it's too fast at any time you can get any woman in this country even like right now on the street right now all you gotta do is approach whether she's in a relationship or married whatever the case might be you at least have a chance of literally taking that girl home you know and also if you're gonna look at it like in a in a spiritual eye uh, going back to your first question the first guy that gave you sex, I mean, gave you money after sex as a Nigerian guy, he initially already initiated you into prostitution without you knowing. Because as you said, you now expect this uh, old man to give you sex or Nigerian man to give you money after sex. Or, like, ideally, give you money after sex. Or, like, ideally, you're already into prostitution. So it's an initiation phase, you understand? If you're going to go back into like... Um, uh obtaining of luck obtaining of uh wealth whatever once a girl becomes a prostitute her body is a vessel you understand what i'm saying so i lay a seed in there for me to get luck from other men that sleep with you so you have to be a prostitute because by then i'll give you more money so that i can obtain something in return it's not always the guy's giving me money there's something that's getting in return that you don't even know so yeah